Okay, we are going to do a uh, crochet shoes, but this particular tutorial is for the sole of the shoes. Okay, so here I'm using this is for size 7. Now for other sizes, you may check on the screen for um the stitch counts so for this uh swatch i'm going to be i'm going to use the uh, size seven okay so uh for this one i'll be using this basic basic design for the sole so that on the future videos on different shoe design crochet sh uh, shoe design we won't have to go back to this one so i'll just link the video to the, i'll just give a link to this video so that you can check on how to make this sole okay so let's begin okay so we will start with our cord stitch i prefer to use the cord stitch as our base uh, stitch because it gives us a stronger foundation so for size 7 I have here I need 22 stitches okay so just pause the video and I'll see you once we have completed that 22 stitches okay so we have here our 22 stitches for our cord base stitch okay then chain one then return now we need eight single crochet so for this one we need eight single crochet I'll see you once uh, you can pause the video and I'll see you once you have completed the eight single crochet okay we have completed the eight single crochet then on the following three stitches we do have double crochet one two and three okay then next is our double crochet okay but after doing the double crochet I want to put a marker on this three uh, half double crochet So I'm going to mark the first of the three and the third. Okay. Then continue doing a double crochet until <clears throat> until we reach to until we have one stitch remaining okay so i'll see you at the second to the last stitch okay so we have one stitch left now on this uh last stitch we will do five double crochet so this will be our turning stitch which is going to be on the toe part of our shoes and then that's three four and then 
five okay then we continue doing double crochets on the next stitches so this is why I prefer the cord stitch because you have a very good foundation doing two uh, two sides we will be doing the stitches okay And then it has a better effect so you can see the alignment of the stitches it looks like a fish bone so that is the thing about this so continue the double crochet until we reach our the opposite of the one we put a marker okay Okay, we are now at the opposite side of the three half double crochets, which we put markers on the other side. So on this side, we also do half double crochet. Three half double crochet. So this is the nice thing about this crochet sole because our uh, initial rows of row one it will look like fish bone and then we proceed with single crochet eight single crochet then don't forget we put marker on the three uh, half double crochet so you can put on the three stitches but um, the first and the third of the stitches is also is good already so you can pause this video and then continue doing the single crochet until we reach our eighth single crochet Okay, so we have finished our eighth single crochet so we are now at the heel part then we make so our first our very first stitch of the row and our last one is um, opposite to each other then on our turning stitch we make additional three single crochet so this is our turning stitch then we do a slip stitch with our first stitch okay it will be better also if we put, uh, put a marker on our uh the our st straight stitches not the turning stitch okay so for this one it should be our so one two three that's our turning stitch then we put a marker on the, the other side then on the two side also we shall use another uh, marker so we have our five double crochets one two three four five and we put the marker on the straight sides one two three four five then okay
Okay, so that is our first row. To continue on our second row, is we will be going to do single crochet all over until we reach the uh, turning turning stitch on, on our toe part okay so it's just a single stitch so single crochet and then single crochet so you can pause this video and I'll see you at the turning point of our our toe side okay we have reached the uh, near the turning point so where we put our marker we still do one single crochet now on our turning on our turning stitch where we had five double crochets in the previous row on each stitch we do two single crochets one two okay so two single crochets each Okay, three and then fourth and fifth. Okay, then on our proceed to uh, one single crochet in every stitch until we reach the turning stitch at the heel part okay so you can pause your video and I see you when we reach the turning point of the heel part okay we are done to the turning uh, stitch for our heel part so we have one single crochet now on the three uh, turning stitch we have one two three we are going to make two uh, double crochet out uh, two single crochet for each stitch one two okay so we'll proceed one two and then one okay then we do a slip stitch at the start of our stitch okay so what I do on the markers that I did I'm going to move them to the upper stitch so for this one okay just like that I am moving my markers on the outer stitches okay Because the single stitch, the single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet, it will sometimes make you confuse which one is which. So it, it is better if we put the marker on each. So this one is not here. It should be here. 
okay as well as the markers on our turning stitches okay so I'll see you once you have completed moving our markers okay so we have finished moving our markers now on the next uh, row we know on the row three so we do chain one and then we do a single crochet on our first stitch followed by single crochet so continue doing single crochet until we reach the turning point in our toe part okay so we are at the turning point in our toe part so we proceed with single crochet and then now on the previous row where we had two double crochets in one in one stitch we will be doing an alternate of two single crochet and one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet okay this is so to increase as we go farther on our uh, round round part to in we also have to increase our stitches okay so that's the basic for having a circular shape as you go further your your circle you increase your number of your rows you have to increase your stitches so two stitches and then one okay then two and then one and then two and one now on the fourth and the fifth uh, series I'm going to reverse I start with one and then two Okay, one and two. Okay, this is so that the in in the turning points we have our we have our equal stitches. Two double crochets, two double crochet, one one. Two, two, one, one. Okay. Then proceed with one single crochet until we reach the turning point in our heel part. Okay. Okay. We are down to the turning stitch, okay, and then same with on this side, we do two double crochet, I mean two single crochet, and then one, two, one. So that's one, two, and then on the second group, I reverse one and then two. Okay, so 
that's how we do the turning point so that it is directly opposite the same the same uh, stitch on the on its direct opposite and then we do a slip stitch with the first stitch of our row okay then again on this on the on after doing the cycle a uh, third row we will want to move our markers so continue to move our marker so that it is on the outer side so I see you once you also have moved your markers okay we proceed on the row four so chain one and then single crochet then we do single crochet until we reach just before our marker okay so we have reached And then we have reached on before our marker so on this marker remember we have our one two three stitches we are going to do the half double crochet so this is the same with the first row okay this is our transition transition size from single crochet to double crochet so that it will create a, a bottleneck in this area okay then proceed after the three half double crochet we do the double crochet okay one double crochet for each stitch until we reach on this marker our turning stitch okay so we reach our turning point one double crochet on the marker and then on the turning and then on our uh, circular circular side for toe on the toe part on the previous row we have three stitches we are going to increase um it's three stitches times five counts so we are going to increase this to four stitches per count so a total of five counts so first we're going to do two double crochet On one stitch and then followed by one double crochet one double crochet so the first double crochet is on one stitch then followed by one double crochet per <coughs> uh, one double crochet for the following two stitches so that that gives us four four stitches then the same on the second uh, second group two and then one one now on the third on the third count since it's our center one so we do one, two, and then one. Okay, and 
then on the fourth and the fifth group we are going to reverse we start with one one and two okay one one and two okay so this is the nice thing about this row because the stitches are symmetrical okay now we proceed with one double crochet for each stitch until we reach just before our marker okay then when we reach our uh, the transition our, our marker for our transition part where we have three stitches these three stitches we are going to do half double crochet for each stitch okay half double crochet now on the following stitch we do single crochet again we do single crochet until we reach the marker for our turning point okay we reach our marker marker stitch where we have our marker and then single crochet now on our turning stitches same with the heel part a toe part we are going to increase the stitches into four okay so we are going to do the same we try to make a symmetrical stitch so first two single crochet on the same stitch followed by single crochet for each of the next two stitches okay now on the middle stitch we do one and then two stitches on the same spe uh, space and then one and then we're going to reverse one one and two okay then we do a slip knot a slip stitch with our first stitch of the row okay so that's it that is our crochet crochet sole okay so it's very easy you don't have to do the counting it will might it will make you confused along the way so I advise you to put markers it is easier and then so that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so please like share uh, comment and subscribe to our channel thank you